Good day, viewers. Welcome back to today's chemistry class. The continuation of our more concepts. If you can recall in our previous class, we, are, we were able to derive the formula of more concepts. We looked at the first formula and how to apply it. Today, we're going to be proceeding on the second formula. The second formula of mole, which says that amounts, amount is equal to number of particles divided by Avogadro's constants. If you recall, number of particles, particles could be an atom, anions, molecules, they are particles. Why? Your A is the Avogadro's constant that is very constant. It has a constant value of 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23. We're going to be making use of this. And our previous formula that we've done before, amount equals to mass over what? Molar mass. So let's dive in. Number one, how many atoms are in 2.0 grams of calcium? Now, let's try to write out our parameters. How many atoms? Atoms refers to the number of particles. So number of particles, that is the atoms. Is unknown how many atoms are in 2.0 grams of carbon. Anything in grams means mass. Mass of calcium is 2.0 grams. From here, we want to calculate the number of particles. And you are given the molar mass. The molar mass of calcium given to you is 40 grams per mole. While your Avogadro's constant given to you is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. When you look at this, we have, a, we have number of particles that we are looking for, mass, molar mass. Since we have mass over molar mass, what we come to mind, the formula is number, that is the amount of mole, equals to mass over molar mass. That is the first formula that comes to mind. Secondly, since we are asked to find the number of particles and we are given Avogadro's constant, the next formula of amount or mole that will come to you is this, that amount equals to number of particles over Avogadro's constant. Now, how do we match this together? Number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. Of course, we have mass, we have molar mass. Second one, amount equals to number of particles over Avogadro's constant. We are looking for number of particles and we have Avogadro constant. So we can match this together since n equals to this, n equals to this. We can say mass over molar mass is equals to number of particles over Avogadro's constant. So our mass is 2.0, our molar mass is 40 equals to number of particles, that's number of atoms now, over 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. When you work it through, you cross multiply, your number of particles will equals to 2.0 multiplied by 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23, divided by 40. When we press our calculator, we have we have 0 0.301 times 10 to the power 23. So take this point to the back of the first digit according to your, in the, you know, your standard form. I have 3.01 times 10 to the power. We are moving back, it is minus, minus 1. You move once times 10 to the power 23. So minus 1 plus 23, we have 3.01 times 10 to the power 22. So this is the number of atoms. Two, how many moles are in 9.03 times 10 to the 23 atoms of sodium? How many moles? It means you are going to find in amounts. N, number of sodium is unknown, are in 9.03 times 10 to the 23 atoms. It means number of particles. Number of particles is given as 9.03 times 10 to the 23 of sodium. Now, from here, we have n and particles. Which formula comes to mind? 
no, amount n equals to number of particles divided by Avogadro's constant. We have a number of particles. We know our Avogadro's constant. Definitely, we can calculate the amount of sodium that is here by saying number of particles 9.03 times 10 is 23 divided by 6.02 times 10 is 23. So this cancel this. So the amount of sodium gives 1.5. So the unit of amount is what? M O A. That's the number. Example three. Calculate the mass of hydrogen that contains the same number of atoms as 9.0 grams of carbon. Now, if you look at this question, we want to find the mass of calcium. Mass of calcium is unknown. That contains the same number of atoms as 9.0 grams of carbon. We are given mass of carbon to be 9.0 grams. One thing you have to note is, every time you are given a question like this, you, you, you are going to solve from known to unknown. We know the mass of carbon. And they said they contain equal atoms. Definitely, let's use the mass of carbon to get the amount of carbon. From there, you can now calculate the mass of hydrogen. What I mean is this. Mass of carbon is 9.0 grams. The molar mass, that's the atomic mass of carbon, is 12.0 grams per mole. From here, we can get number of amount of carbon, number of mole of carbon to be equal to mass of carbon over the molar mass of carbon. Mass of carbon is 9.0, the molar mass is 12.0. So when we solve this, what do we have? We have 0 0.75 mole. So this is the amount of carbon. Now, since from the question they said that calculate the mass of calcium that contains the same number of atoms as 9.0 gram of carbon. So number of amount for carbon is also equals to amount for calcium. And what is the value? 0 0.75 mole. So in this case, we means that number of calcium now is 0 0.75 mole. And we are asked to now calculate the mass of calcium, which is unknown. And don't forget the molar mass of calcium given to us to be 40.0, that is gram per mole. So from here, we have to find the mass from the formula that says not amount equals to mass over molar mass. Cross multiply, mass equals to amount multiplied by molar mass. Then we are going to have our mass to be equal to, our amount is 0 0.75 multiplied by molar mass is 40. So when we do that, what do we have? We are going to have 30 gram. So therefore, the mass, the mass of hydrogen is equal to 30 grams. Example four, a cuboid piece of sodium metal measures three centimeter by four centimeter by 10 centimeter. If the density of sodium is 0 0.971 gram per centimeter cube, calculate the number of atoms in the sodium metal. First, cuboid. A cuboid has three dimensions, the length, breadth, and the height. The length, the breadth, and the height to form the volume of that cuboid. Definitely, the volume of sodium in this case is going to be 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 10. This gives 3 times 4, we have 12 times 10, 120 centimeter cube. Then, if the density of sodium is, the density of sodium, let's use D to represent density of sodium, is given as 0 0.971 gram per centimeter cube. If you recall, in our mathematics and our physics, density has a particular formula, which is density is equal to mass over volume. So this is the definition of density. Here, we are given the density, we are given the volume. Actually, we need to calculate the mass of sodium here. When you cross multiply, 
we have mass to be equal to density multiplied by volume. From here, mass of sodium will equal to the density given to us, 0 0.971 multiplied by the volume given to us, or calculated to 120. So when we multiply it, we have One one six point five two. So the units of mass is grams. Now back to our question. Question now says calculate the number of atoms in the sodium metal. We are having our mass to be one hundred sixteen point five two grams. Number of atoms is unknown. Given the Avogadro's constant, let's go by our formula that contains the number of atoms. Number of at no, amount equals to number of atoms or number of particles over Avogadro's constants. Here, we have our mass of sodium, and there's no mass here. We're looking for number of atoms, we have a various constants. So we need to have our N, which is the amount of that sodium. From that formula, amount equals to mass over molar mass. So actually, N equals the number of particles, atom over Avogadro's constant, N equals the mass over molar mass. We can equate both of them together by saying number of atoms divided by Avogadro's constant is equals to mass over molar mass. Now, cross multiply, we are going to have number of particle, number of atoms equals to M mass multiplied by L over molar mass. Our mass of sodium that we calculated is 116.52 multiplied by, okay, Our mass of sodium we calculated is 116.52 multiplied by Avogadro's constant that we are given 6.02 times 10 is 23 divided by molar mass of sodium is given as 23. Let us multiply and divide. We have 30.5 times 10 is power 23. That is the number of atoms. So in dealing with more concepts, we must always remember those formulas. So we are able to go through the formula one and formula two. In our subsequent classes, we are going to be looking at this, the remaining formulas and how to apply them. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Thank you very much.